Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're going to make an alpine coil, so stick around. The alpine coil, or mountaineering coil, is a traditional method used to carry rope over a long distance. It's also my preferred carry for rope under 100 foot. So I thought today let's go ahead and demonstrate a couple ways to coil this rope. For today's exercise, we'll be using a 50 foot of double braid 5 16 diameter rope with a brake strength or tensile strength of 4,200 pounds. All right, now there are several methods that you can go ahead and use for this. My preferred method is to go ahead and sit like this. Take one of my ends and just place it on my leg. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the cordage around my legs, trying not to cross it over. Just like that, get my last three or four feet. Then I want to go ahead and I want to tie it up. All right, so at this point right here, what you're going to do is grab your original end. All you're going to do is make a bite, just like this, and lay it on top. Just like that. Now taking your other end, it has about three or four feet. All you're going to do is you're going to wrap it around that bite towards your loop. Here's my long end, and here's my bite. And I'm just gonna wrap it towards my loop. Just like this, there's my loop. Now I go ahead and I'm gonna pass my end inside my loop. Now grab my opposite end right here and I'll pull it tight. Just like that. Now for the next method, all you're gonna do is take the rope, place one end inside your hand and between your fingers to hold it, just like this. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna wrap it around my neck, just like this, and around my thumb. So I have the full length of my arm, just like this. I'm gonna keep doing that. Just like this. Get my last three or four feet, the exact same thing. Go ahead and remove the rope. Got my end right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a bite. Lay it on top, and just like before, grab my long end, wrap it around towards the end of my loop. I'm gonna wrap it towards my loop, just like before.
place my end inside my loop. Go to my opposite end and pull it tight. Welcome back. Now keep in mind, there's several methods you can use to transport rope over long distance. This was only one of them. Now for a word of wisdom. The more rope that you want to carry, meaning above 100 foot, it can become prone to tangles using this method. So keep that in mind and stay within 100 foot and you should be good to go. Thank you for your comments, views, support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the woods, have some fun. I'll catch you next time.